Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we are going to look at an Arctic field ration from foreignmre.com. Did buy this on foreignmre.com. Man, you know, these, these Norwegian Arctic field rations, I had seen them for some time, and I just never bought one. I don't know why, but now I did. <laughs> right when we're having all of these issues getting international rations in the country. And customs has been particularly hard on, on a lot of these uh, folks bringing these in. So, kind of stinks, but it is what it is. But we have one here, and uh, going to take a look at it. So, 1,300 calories. Our main looks like a cod and creamy curry sauce does have a bit of a menu here if you're interested in kind of going through the menu a little bit. It, you know, looks fantastic. I don't know. Creamy, you know, creamy cod in like a curry sauce. Yeah, you got me. So we've got our pull apart seal there to expose the innards. Get out. All right. And look at that. The full meal. And this is our cod and curry sauce. Nice vacuum seal there. That's sweet. We are seeing a little uh, <clears throat> zip top here. This is great. Dang, all right. Getting excited, getting excited. All right. So we've got a real on the go cranberry protein bar. 28% of protein, I'm assuming that means 28% of your daily value. There's a lot of writing on there. I'm not interested. But uh, yeah, cranberries. At least they're not osmotic. <laughs> We've got some dark chocolate. 60% cocoa. Oh, there we go. So that's good. Energy bar too. Energy bar. Does feel like a little heat got to this. Um, seems slightly deformed. Uh, should be fine. But just... Just a little slightly deformed there. Uh, what are these? So we've got some disinfecting, disinfection swab. It's like a little wet nap type deal. Uh, Polder Mill Colombian freeze dried coffee. <laughs> oh man, I always think of that Chris Farley sketch. Decaffeinated Colombian coffee crystals. It's good times. Uh, looks like we've got some gum. Peppermint chewing gum. A spoon. Probably the most exciting thing, right? Seems to be in good order there. Ah, tropical fruit mix. Little small package, not, a, not, not very big, but we'll take a look at that obviously. Ah, look at this, a Bridgeford, Bridgeford pot product, and I believe these are, okay. oh, it's a, it's a wrap? I thought it just said tortillas on here. Oh no, okay, tortilla wrap Mexican style. I, I thought I was getting like, you know, just tortillas for, I don't know, you wrap your cot up in, no. So this is a Mexican style beef wrap. Interesting. I've had quite a few Bridgeford products. I've probably had this before. I've done a lot of videos, so should be cool. <laughs> Here's open. Oh wow, look at this package. That's that's bright energy drink with a taste of lemon. Interesting. This is like a big package for this. With like a little stand-up bottom and a zip top. Share, share your real moments. <laughs> should I go? <laughs> should I go and tweet it, guys? <laughs> so we can share our real moments. <laughs> That's fun. And then we have a little zippy bag. Nice, nice. All right, so let's get some uh, boiling water. Let's get this started, and we'll start arranging everything. Let's go ahead and clear ourselves off a little space here. See if we can get a hiss. I don't know if, if it'll hiss 
just on this or if we actually have to open the zippy, but let's try it out. Nope. Okay. Let's try it from the zippy. Ah, that was satisfying. I like it. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's fish. <laughs> That's fish, all right. Uh, let's see, is there a desiccant? Uh, if there is, I'm not finding it. it. Does not look as though we have the oxygen absorber. Maybe it'll pop up if there is, but I can't. I can't find it. Let's see if we had any. Do we have any instructions? <laughs> oh, look at this. I should have shown this before. This is 30% potato, 87% cod. I don't know what, what, what measurements are you using? <laughs> what is this? Sorry. Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing any warnings of a desiccant. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and get this get this rolling. Let's get her rolling. And again, you can read your fancy instructions to figure out how much water this needs. I generally just go by feel. But uh I guess we could have looked around for that. Uh, go through all the various languages. Uh, hmm, I don't know. There's a fill line right there. <laughs> doesn't look like I see anything that it gives you by volume, but we do have fill line and I didn't really consider that fill line much, but I am going to add more water in here. So it definitely did sap in that initial bit. So I think we've got everything scraped from the bottom pretty well. Um, hmm. Add just a little bit more. Just a bit. These freeze dried meals can be pretty thirsty and they tighten up, so I think we should be good there. That's a little soupy, but I, I'm going to assume that should tighten up and we will leave that to do its thing. You know, meh, 10 minutes, give or take, and then we'll get everything on the tray. All right, so I think I did okay on the water. I added just a little bit more, so it should be uh, kind of thick. But let's go ahead and go around and, and see what else we got. Here is our uh, Mexican-style beef wrap. Okay. Let's hear the first go around. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. Got our cranberry protein bar. Oh, <laughs> kind of expected it to be you know, the um, the cranberry bar that we get from uh, First Strike is usually pretty bright red, but we do see some specks there. A little crisp race action. Got our chocolate, which. Like I said, I think it's seen a little bit of heat, unfortunately. Uh, stupid tear notch didn't work at all. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, as you can see, just a little bit of blooming. Happens. 
but it it still should be okay. Just there. <laughs> Got our mix. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the fruit's getting away. This is like little <laughs> little bite-sized pieces there. Look at that. Little tiny, little tiny pieces that just literally just went everywhere. Uh, they exploded out of that bag. <laughs> Gee. Okay. Do our drink here. Ouch. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna go. And it looks like this is seeing a little moisture. Just a little bit. See some of it on the side, but that's that's fine. It'll be okay. I could just mix this in the bag, but we'll just kind of dump it out in the cup here. It smells like that artificial lemon cleaner type of or, uh, smell. Hopefully it's still okay. All right, bring our tray back and check out our cod and its curry sauce. Whew, that's fishy. Yeah, there's a little bit more in there, but that's a, about good enough for now. So kind of a nice little assortment of things here. Let's, uh, let's try out this wrap. It does look like it's got a little bit of um, um, dry edges, so let's, yeah. Mm. It's okay. There is some age in there. I have to imagine that this tortilla was was white and the reddish orange look we're getting is probably from the bleed out from the meat. Um, yeah, I mean, it's tomato-y. There's a little bit of like, you know, chili powder type spice in it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I, 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 I do enjoy the, the Bridgeford products because they're like an on the go kind of snack type of deal. Kind of interesting to get it with like a curried cod dish. But um, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but like I said, it, it does taste a little old. Let's try some of our fruit mixture here. Little, <laughs> little bite sized pieces for, I mean, bite size for like a I don't know. Somebody very little. That's not bad. A little sweet. Not overly sweet. Yeah, I mean that's that's a nice way to enjoy, you know, semi-dried little fruit pieces. Let's try a cranberry bar. Ooh, that's very nice. Crunchy. Tastes like a lot of sugar though. Um, you know, kind of a light cranberry taste. That's really good. That's been the best thing so far. I actually really like that. 
Try a little bit of our chocolate. Again, kind of bloomed. Tastes a little chalky. A little bit of sweetness. It's nice though. Um, yeah, it, it, it is pretty nice. 60% um, cocoa stuff is, uh, you know, if you're looking for like a little bit more bitter chocolate, that's very middle of the road. Um, yeah, it, I don't know. It, it is good, but it, it's, it's, it's a little chalky. That could just be some of the heat in the age. Of course, this shouldn't be all that old. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into our main here. Okay. That's not bad. Um, good amount of cod. You definitely get quite a bit of fish there. It's definitely a little fishy. <laughs> Not terrible. Um, I see there's some carrots in there. It actually, you know, if you were going to make, if you were gonna say that this is curry though, um, I would kind of say back, well, where's the curry? It's actually a little bland, a little bland. Let's try with a little bit of hot sauce on that. Yeah, that's a ticket. That's much nicer. Um, just as it is a little bland, but full of fish. Um, you know, sometimes with some of the fishy stuff, like, uh, the MCW, the, uh, was it? Seafood chowder. Not a ton of fish. This is like a lot of fish. So that's not bad. Let's try a drink, which, uh, has went very translucent. A little bit on the bottom there. Yeah. Very artificial. Super artificial lemon taste. Not really tart. Um, not the best drink I've ever had. So, I'll say this. This ration has been through some stuff. All right. Obviously, there's some age on the Bridgeford, a little bleed through, through the tortilla. Our cranberry bar, that's really good. A little bit too sugary. The chocolate, it's a little bloomed, a little chalky, but still tastes pretty good. Our mix here is is uh, is pretty decent. Um, and our drink is did have some moisture to it, but it's okay. It's definitely drinkable, obviously. Just, you know, a little artificial. Our stew, our little chicken, or chicken, <laughs> cod, creamy cod thing. You know, I don't get the curry off of it. Um, but it, it is, it is good and it's full of fish, which is awesome. And I, God, I love fish. I love seafood. And, you know, potatoes and, it's basically potatoes and cod. But it really did need that hot sauce to give it some flavor because it is a little bland. Um, but overall, if everything were just fresh and ready to go, you're getting... A real nice size, super protein packed, you know, fishy kind of stew. That, you know, these are awesome when they're a little bit fresher. You're getting some fruit, you're getting some fruit and crisp rice, you're getting some chocolate, you're getting a drink. This is a really nice complete ration. And uh, you're getting a taste of several different things. A little bit nonsensical, you know, a Mexican sort of beef wrap with, you know, a fish stew is interesting, but it, it, you know, everything would be pretty good. 
And again, getting that fruit in there, getting you some fruit and, and a little chocolate. So overall, I've got to say this would be awesome for the environment. You know, you're talking about that Arctic ration, getting some calories in there. Um, so yeah, if it were a little fresher, I'd be a little bit more impressed, obviously. But um, yeah, overall, this is a good little ration. And again, you can, I think you can still find these on foreignmre.com. I think they still had some more, at least at last I checked. So maybe give them, uh, give them a look. Uh, but aside from that, that's, that's what we have for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit the old like button and comment down below. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I would definitely appreciate it. And we will catch you on the next one. See ya.